So guys, now we get to talk technology at Hydromat. I got my buddy Chad with me, and we're gonna talk Epic. And Chad is Epic as well, so he's the guy to talk about it. Chad, I'm fascinated by what this machine even looks like. Yeah. Let's talk about its unique abilities, but let's first talk about the base of it. So as we all know, uh, budget's very important when purchasing a machine, so this customer uh, requested us to find some savings for them, so we actually went to a remanufactured base. What that means is we take an old base and take it back to OEM specifications. What this does is it still allows the precision of a hydromat, but at a cheaper rate. Ah, I like that it can be less expensive like that. That's definitely worth transferring to the customers out there and letting them know that you have them in mind. Now, I see a whole lot of metal and a whole lot of edges sticking out. Now, mm -hmm. this is what fascinates me about Hydromat in so many ways because parts are being made quickly. Parts are being automated. Automated is the buzzword, the mm -hmm. lights out, the mm -hmm. third shift, we all talk about it. Can you talk about the importance of automation on this machine, how it actually works, and how quick are the parts being made? Yeah, absolutely, so this customer came to us, as we all know, labor shortage is a very big issue in our industry right now, and they were looking for lights out running so they could run a machine throughout a constant shift without touching it. So we were able to make a part every six seconds and run an eight hour shift with the current automation setup we have. Six seconds unmanned. How often does a guy got to come over to load the raw blank again or load the stock or whatever it is that you're utilizing to run this machine? Because six seconds, what, I got to make a million parts? Absolutely. So we have a bulk handling system set up over here where they actually take their raw dunnage from a tote or whatever, drop right into our stacker system, and it goes into a stack feeder and enters the machine that way. Six seconds later, there's a part. Absolutely.